So in this video, I want to show you how to access Warwick's research databases. So if you come to our homepage, www.warwick.edu, come over here to where it says services and support. And if you click on that, you should see a page that looks somewhat like this. Come down to where it says academic support. And if you click on that, it'll say resource centers and then in parentheses library. If you click on that link should take you to something that looks like this. So there's a couple different options that you have with the databases. First thing you can do is um, do a quick search. So say there was something that we were interested in, just a general topic, you can use this quick search tab uh, to find some information about whatever it is that you're looking for. And the cool thing about this um, quick search thing is that it's going to pull from multiple uh, sources, multiple databases. So that's one way that you can go about um, finding information. Uh, you can also go uh, by specific databases individually. So let's say we're looking at uh, research databases by subject. And let's say we're going to look at social sciences. Now you don't have to use um, just the databases under here. You can use the ones in a variety of areas, um, but I'm just using this just to help illustrate. A couple little suggestions for you. If you're looking for basic information, um, you know, how to do, to find something or just trying to get general information, it doesn't have to be original research, Credo Reference is a good resource for you. has a lot of easy to read and understand um, materials uh, and it just generally has, like for example, some encyclopedia entries that just give you basic information that you need. Um, Academic One File is another one uh, that can be helpful. If you're looking to try to have um, uh, resources that are conducting original research, if your assignment requires that you have an original research article, I would strongly recommend ProQuest Central. Um, or uh, psychology database. Either one of those uh, would be good options to use. And I have a, another video that shows you how to find an article um, that gives you original research. Another one that I'd like to point out to you um, very quickly is this database, uh, Films on Demand. This is actually a database that has a bunch of documentaries about a variety of subjects. Um, and they're kind of helpful because it, for example, if we look at psychology specifically, you can look for schizophrenia on the Films on Demand database, and you'll find documentaries that talk about schizophrenia, people's experiences with it, those kinds of things. Uh, so another resource for you to have, and those are certainly acceptable for um, the assignments that I give. It's, it's a resource from the database, so uh, you can certainly feel free to use it uh, and may give you kind of another context with which to use the material. 